to semis. The Rob of Redeemer Z against the Great Gonzalez oh breaking boy. out from the house of Belmont. This Simon. This should be fun. Redeemer Z being a resident Rob made. I mean, darn near his entire Smash career. Also with the Mario in his, um, in his repertoire from Smash 4, although I don't know if that really translated to Ultimate. However, Rob being a character that got significant buffs in Ultimate, Down Smash, and Side B being amazing, most spinning options right now. But with these two characters out there, between Gyro and Holy Wood, between Laser and the Whip and the Axe, this is going to be a real projectile range game. And I think it's one that Rob actually loses. I would have to agree with you. It's uh, really the win condition is to get inside that ranged offense that the Great Gonzalez is sure to be throwing out. And right now, just not having any real answer aside from uh, from the air and the Great Gonzalez. You got to think his win condition is simple. Stay in neutral as much as possible and ledge guard like your life depends on it. Absolutely. Look at, look at what's happening right now. He throws, oh out, my. he throws out Holy Water, and Gyro just clashes with it. That takes out Gyro as an option for Redeemer. And then if he throws out Holy Water uh, as well, well, he can get that side smash kill confirmed. The, he, can't get, he can't approach with anything. He can't grab him. Laser can possibly come through, but what's going to get much off of Laser? The Redeemer's best option right now is to just play the ledge. Like, wait for him or throw him over the ledge and get some quick, cheesy KO, having to fade back to avoid that. Wow, nice time to drive. Yeah, seriously. But again, there's that whip from out of there. It's very oh rare to see Rob on the uh, on the looting end of range. Yeah, here we go. The two f -tills. This is This is rough. I don't know if Redeemer has a way to figure this one out. He has to just get inside the projectiles of, of a bell mine. And unless he can do that, he's not going to win this match. He's not getting him in disadvantage nearly enough to win this thing, and not doing nearly enough. Great Gonzalez, he's, uh, well, he got back to stage for free, and he makes him pay. Couldn't be punching his ticket to lose his final. If he keeps this up, he's up 1-0. That was, well, a very fast match, and that's just... <sighs> the thing about a Belmont is that you have to worm your way inside of it. But how do you worm your way inside of a projectile character when your main game is projectiles and most of your projectiles also get blocked by the other person's projectiles? You weren't meant to do that. That's not the sort of machine, the, that's not the function for which Rob was built. Quite yeah, well, he better, he better give himself a new operating system. Clearly, Windows isn't cutting it. You better go to Linux. Yeah, for real. That is, uh, yeah, yeah. You gotta have a conversation. Rob needs to have a conversation with Tux and fast if he wants to. If he wants to get himself a win. And there you go, Rob. Perhaps being rendered uh, obsolete here. And well, just for now, wait till the upgrade. It's gonna be clean. All right, here we go. We're going to final destination for game two. This is lose the semi, so I do believe that it's gonna be best of three. Oh, what oh, best of five. Best of five. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Well, right now, as clean and dapper as Mario looks, I'm pretty sure this matchup is going to get down and dirty. Oh my. Yeah, just like that, Redeemer Z loses his first stock very quickly within the first 20 seconds. Oh, wait, he's trying to return oh, the favor he's... quite quickly. Not able to secure it and getting hit with a fair for his troubles. But if there's any character in Redeemer's repertoire that can get into the Belmont, I think Mario might just be the. Uh, I think Mario might just be the. Oh, option. but he misses ledge. And he does well to get back onto the stage, but the whip comes out. And the great Gonzalez looking unperturbed in the, in the most emphatic way. I mean. I'm struggling to find words for what the Great Gonzalez is doing to Redeemer right now, quite frankly. Embarrassing him. Honestly, as much as I this That'll is, work. This, this is a pretty rough matchup. And it looks like Gonzalez is just incredibly comfortable right now. He's throwing out all the projectiles, and there's not much that he can that Redeemer nope. can do. Look at that. He's going, going off stage. He detects it. Smack for his trouble, trying to secure at least one stock in this match. All right, I definitely should have been a grab. Option, please avoid the up air. Constantly swinging that out. No in lag on those chain whips either. Talk about being a massive vampire hunter. Like he said, look at him. He's just throwing a whip around. And there the uppercut will take it to 2-0. The great Gonzalez looking to bring glory to the house of Belmont here at Codename Bears 170. And he is one game away from securing a place 
in loser's final where again another formidable foe awaits six wx and we have seen this matchup before between gods and six with redeemer z in very real danger and in deep deliberation i mean what's going through the mind of redeemer z right now right now he's trying to figure out what do i need to stop these projectiles what can what do i have that can contest with the onslaught of a belmont between the wide distance of all the projectiles aerial and horizontal between the whip that can just go everywhere has ungodly kill potential what do i use what do i utilize perhaps the lucina is the answer but will that sword be the key to unlock the puzzle that is simon belmont will it be the final destination for redeemer z's tournament hopes we will see in this game number three and again Ray Gonzalez says, you know what? You ha you did nothing about these projectiles last time. What do I ha what reason do I have to respect you up close, Redeemer Z saying, well, frankly, it's this sword that you need to respect. Oh my god. Oh, but the uppercut off the top. The the dangerous thing about this matchup is that even when you feel like you have an opportunity on a Belmont, oh you my. still have to pull back because you don't want to be in range of the whip. If you are in range of the whip and you get caught, you just get sent back. So you, you move back even further to reduce the damage, but then you're right back to where you started. It's a heavy game of, of cat and mouse, for lack of a better word. The fact that it hits multiple times as well. Oh, and there you go, Redeemer Z with the taunt. And Great Gonzalez did not get the tech, and you got to think that's his win condition. Get Great Gonzalez in disadvantage however you possibly can. Taunting? And you <laughs> Or, or, yeah, taunting as well. Who knows? Great Gonzalez. He I is think Gonzalez's taunt is the fact that he's up 2-0 right now. <laughs> you know fair I, enough. You know what I mean? Like, this is one of those things, like, you can taunt you want, but I made you go to a character that you have in the pocket. Your main can't beat me. You want to taunt? Look at the numbers right now. The scoreboard is my taunt. Yeah, fair enough. That's uh, oh my. a finger at the scoreboard sometimes is all that you need. And the Great Gonzalez... Sometimes all you need is a vicious forward air with a tipper, and just like that, one stock away and a forward air of his own. Redeemer Z returns the favor in kind, and now at one stock apiece. They also say all you need is love, and I'm pretty sure after this, Redeemer's gonna need a hug. Like, yeah. there's nothing else I can really say about this matchup. It seems like all Rob got dismantled, Mario got destroyed, oh! and that Lucina got sent back in time. Like you said that that was for your father, you've embarrassed the family name you see. Well, I'm sorry. That was, yeah. that was just rough. The name of Belmont, however, echoing through the halls of the laboratory. Great Gonzalez wins 3-0. He will face 6WX. This is going to be a good one.